G'day mate, how are ya? How the bloody hell are ya? G'day. 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 I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm Australian. And I know that sometimes I swear too much and I talk really quickly. And sometimes I use slang that you guys are probably just like, what the fuck is this bitch saying? So I thought today I'd make a video about, uh, you know, Aussie slang, Aussie phrases, Aussie words. I thought I'd explain to you guys what they mean and to give you some sort of insight into the way that Australians think, the way that Australians talk. We abbreviate words for no reason. We add in words for no reason. And then we talk really quickly and add it all together so it seems like can't even understand what we're saying mate. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this video is educational for you foreigners and for you Aussies I hope you can enjoy it. Mate. You know a common word that we use in Australia sometimes too much actually no all the time too much. Mate means your friend, your pal, your buddy, whatever you want to call it but we say it in a way that it's just like we add it to the end of sentences that don't need to be there. It's like how are you mate? Why are you here mate? What are you doing mate? Where are we going mate? What's the go mate? Seriously it's overused like there's no tomorrow but that's the Australian heritage and I fucking love it, mate. Bottle-o. One of Australia's favourite place, the Bottle-o. <laughs> bottle-o. The Bottle-o is the liquor store, the bottle shop, whatever you want to call it. But we call it the Bottle-o for no apparent reason. I don't know why we add the O on the end. Oh, can you stop at the Bottle-o, Sabo, and get me a goon bag, please? If you're going to the Bottle-o, can you get me a 10-pack ciders? Thanks. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Bloody. Yeah, you're bloody right, mate. Bloody is a word that we use fucking way too often. Bloody can be used in many different ways. In anger, in sarcasm, in encouragement. You can add it into the middle of words for no reason, like fan, bloody-tastic, schnozzer. Schnozzer. You want to know what a schnozzer is? Mate, you're looking right at it. That's a bloody schnozzer. This is a schnozzer. Your nose is a schnozzer. Why? I love Australians. Australia. What do you reckon Australia means? Australia is the term for Australia. But we just say it because we have to shorten everything. So we say, welcome to Australia, mate. Yeah, mate. You want to come to Australia? Yeah, come to Australia. Australia's mad. Australia. I am from Australia. Australia. When you say words like Australia, you realize how bogan you are. I'm so Australian. Maccas. Now, if you can't guess what Maccas is, you've got a bloody problem, mate. No. This is what this video is for to explain what it means. Maccas means McDonald's. You know, where you get the cheeseburgers and the, you know, chips and stuff like that. And that's where we go because it's open 24-7 to go get a mean feed after a night on the piss. Whew. Cracking open a cold one. Cold one referring to a cold, cold alcoholic beverage. Actually, no way. Hold on. I've got a cold one. I'll show you. So this is a cold one. This is cracking open a cold one. See what I just did there? Cracked open a cold one. Shoey. Now, if this isn't the first video of mine that you've watched, you would know what a fucking shoey is. And if you don't, I'm about to explain it to you by demonstrating. Shoe, cold one. Put the alcohol in the shoe. Here's to Tana, she's true blue. She's a piss pot through and through. She's a bastard, so they say. She went to go to heaven, but she went the other way. She went down, down. Mm, mm, mm. What do we think of Tana? She's all right. She's all right. So if you didn't understand what a shoey was after watching that, shoey is pouring an alcoholic beverage, in my case, cider, into a shoe and drinking it. I feel like it's one of the most Australian things that you can do. Skull it. Now I know that this is probably a worldwide term, but as Australians, we are full of peer pressure and we're always going, we mate, skull it, quick, 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 skull it, skull it, skull it, come on, skull it. We are always just like trying to hound our friends to drink. Another demonstration of sculling. Mind you, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Piss head. Yep, piss head. What is the first thing you think of when you think of piss head? When I think of piss head, I think of myself. In my opinion, piss head means a menace on the piss. And on the piss means while you're drinking. You're under the influence of alcohol. So I'm getting on the piss tonight. I am. I frequently get on the piss and I act like a dickhead when I do it. Schmoko. Smoko, schmoko, schmoko. I mean, I don't have a smoko, but a smoko is for usually tradies. It's more like morning tea, afternoon tea, lunch, whatever. But yeah, smoko is taking a bloody break, mate. Oh, this is one of my favorite terms as an Australian. My second eldest brother, Callan, says this like a fucking champion. Hey, yeah. And it depends on how you say it. It does mean, how are you going? If you want to put it in the English terms, but we spell it, how you going? Because you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. <laughs> Sounds funny when you say it too many times in a row. So how are you going? Here you go. Now this is a word that I've been called my entire fucking life by my three older brothers. Bludger, which means somebody who does nothing. Dodgy. When something's dodgy, it ain't right, or it's broken, or it's not 100% or whatever. So if something's dodge or dodgy, you're bloody pissed off about it. 
Brekkie, aka breakfast. That one was hard, wasn't it? Love a good brekkie when I'm hungover as shit. We have two terms for the word cigarette. We've got ciggy and dart. Mate, you wanna go have a ciggy? We'll go puff a dart. You wanna go have a dart? Mate, we'll go have a ciggy with a fucking long net down the bloody glove, mate. You wanna have a ciggy? We'll have a ciggy. Hmm? Ciggy. Ziggy. Buggin. Now I think the old meaning for this word is a little bit different to the way that we say it. When I say buggered, I go, oh mate, I'm bloody buggered, which means I'm tired, I'm over it, I want to go home. Having a blue, which means you're having a bit of a biff. And having a blue and a biff means you're having a bit of a fight. You're fighting, you're angry, you're having a bit of a, you know, miscommunication, a bit of an argument, heated conversation. A biff can be a punch on, I'm not gonna lie to you. It can be. It really can be. Bloke. It's male. Sheila. Female. Love this phrase. She's a beaut. Now, when we say she's a beaut, we're not referring to a female or something that's a woman. We are meaning she's a beaut, meaning whatever we're talking about is a beaut. So if the weather's good outside, I go, you see the weather today? She's a beaut. She is a beaut. Servo. Servo meaning service station. Servo down the road from me sells Krispy Kreme donuts and it's fucking beaut. She's a beaut. Dunny. Not a commonly used word these days because, uh, you know, everyone's kind of be proper and whatnot. Dunny means toilet. It's where you do your number one or your number two. But the dunny is the toilet that you sit your butt on. Blind. Now, when I say blind, I'm not meaning people who can't see in the medical term. That's completely different. Blind usually means a high level of intoxication. So I, on the usual occasion, get quite blind, which I think they use it in the sense of because you're that drunk, you can't see, which is a very, very regular reoccurrence for me. But don't tell mum and dad, I'm so sorry. Oh, did you see Tenna last night? She was fucking blind. Spewing. Spewing can be used in two ways. Spewing, meaning literal throwing up. So like, oh wow, Tenna had a big one last night. She was spewing. That that has happened before. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That's really upsetting. I'm upset about that. It's like, oh mate, I was spewing about that. That sucks. The ciders went up in price. You'd be spewing, Barbie. Now this is a very tourist word of Australia. Usually people say we're gonna put a shrimp on the Barbie. Now I'm gonna get this straight for you. We do not put shrimp on Barbies. For this reason, we eat prawns, not shrimp. I mean, I'm sure that there is some Aussies out there who eat shrimp on a Barbie. No, no, just no. Yeah, Barbie barbecue. Esky. Esky is this big container that's filled with ice where we put our alcoholic beverages, sometimes non-alcoholic beverages for the pussies out there, all the underage people. No, no judgment, no judgment. So yeah, we have an esky where we, we sometimes we've got eskies on wheels that we take with us wherever we go, that we put our alcoholic beverages in and to keep them cold. Thong. Now you might get confused with the thing that you put on your butt. This is an Australian thong. So this goes on your foot, not your butt. Your foot, you hear me? Not your butt. Flip flop, I think you call it. Sanger. Now, Sanger means sandwich. The most loved Sanger in Australia is the Bunnings Warehouse Sausage Sanger on the weekend. Sanger, sandwich. Sanger, sandwich. Sanger, sandwich. Perla. Now, this is similar to the she's a beaut term. So, Perla is like something that's great. So, it's like, you see the weather outside? She's a Perla. Whoop, whoop. Now, if you hear an Australian say whoop, whoop, it usually means either in the middle of nowhere or somewhere very far away. When you can't be bothered explaining where the fuck you're going, or you go, oh, I'm just going to whoop, whoop. So, they assume you're going to live in the bush or you're gonna drive at least four hours or so. So yeah, I'm going to whoop whoop. Whoop whoop, whoop whoop, whoop whoop. Oh, good on you, mate. Good on ya. Good on you. But in a sarcastic tone, meaning you fucked up. Piss farting around. Now this is my favorite Australian term. I'm not gonna lie to ya. Piss farting around is such, just, I just can't even describe how much I love this term. Piss farting around means you're usually doing nothing or you're procrastinating something. So I usually piss fart around the house all day when I'm meant to be filming or I'm meant to be doing something or I'm meant to be editing or I'm meant to be going somewhere, but I'm usually piss farting around, which means I'm doing nothing. <sighs> Tenna, you're meant to be doing this all day. Why are you piss farting around? I just fucking love that term. I find it so good. So yeah, don't piss fart around, mate. Get shit done. Don't piss fart around. Arvo and Savo. Kind of the same thing, both meaning afternoon. Mate, you want to go to the pub this Arvo? You want to go to the pub this Arvo? Yeah? Yeah. Yui. You're probably wondering what a Yui is. And a Yui is a U-turn. So when you're turning in a car or a truck, you're chucking a Yui, mate. Okay, so this is me in a beer costume. Okay, I'm going to do the most Australian thing you can think of. Voila! This is a tin containing Vegemite. Oh, that's rank. So don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell their friends' family, tell their friends' family. Give this video a thumbs up. Here's to Australia. Mmm. Oh. Oh. That was disgusting on so many levels. No, actually I like Vegemite, so it's fine. Nothing like washing down some Vegemite in a kangaroo outfit with a beer, skull and a drink. Subscribe to watch more of this shit happen. Thanks for watching.